So Vice President Kamala Harris has been tasked with trying to handle and get under control the influx of migrants coming primarily from Northern Triangle countries. Um, some comments that she made to the president of Guatemala were released yesterday, and I have to say they are quite galling and really something coming from the American vice president. Let's take a listen to what she had to say about the root causes of this migration. There are also long-standing issues that um, are often called the root causes of immigration. We are looking at the issue of poverty and the lack, therefore, of economic opportunities, the issue of extreme weather conditions uh, and the lack of climate adaptation, as well as corruption and the lack of good governance, and violence against women, indigenous people, LGBTQ people, and Afro-descendants. All right, so first of all, let's start at the surface level of, I'm not sure we're really in the position to be lecturing other countries at all about corruption, good governance, or violence in their society. Second of all, if you wanna talk about some of the root causes of why Guatemala has high murder rates and has the political instability and the violence issues that they have, maybe go Google CIA activities in Guatemala where we propped up and, in, in, and instituted murderous right-wing regimes, propped up some of these thugs and these death squads that were targeting exactly the groups that she's talking about, not to mention imposing on them exactly the sort of terrible neoliberal regime that exacerbates inequality and leaves most of the population in poverty. Maybe if you're gonna talk about the root causes, you might wanna look into some of those issues as well. Not to mention our role in climate change too. I, that looked to me like a fifth grader reading the book report they put together the night before when she started by saying, we're looking at the issue of poverty. <laughs> like it's the, it sounds like she read the Wikipedia page of Northern Triangle countries. Right, right, it's, exactly right. And takes zero responsibility. And by the way, on the substance, and this is something you know that you also won't hear cover in the media. So at the border, the Biden administration has made some changes in terms of, you know, who's allowed in to declare refugee status. They're allowing children and families in while their uh, asylum status is being processed, keeping adults out, question marks in my mind, whether that is even legal by international law. But with regards to actually dealing with these Northern Triangle countries, they're presenting this public face of like, oh, we're going to help them, we're gonna help give them aid, we're gonna help them you know, alleviate poverty. These countries were also hit by two devastating hurricanes yeah. back to back, which has been a driver here as well. By the way, I forgot to mention the war on drugs and the way that that has devastated the region as well and creates these this gang violence that many of them are fleeing. But what their actual response has been in terms of the countries has actually been very Trumpian. They are providing funds and assistance to militarize the borders to beef up local internal security so people can't leave. So they're not actually dealing with, she can lay out the root causes in her view, but the Biden administration isn't actually doing anything to deal with those root causes, which look, I mean, it's not a surprise given Biden's history. Like, he is a war on drugs guy. He is a tough on crime guy. That is one thing that has been extraordinarily consistent throughout his career. And there's no evidence that he has actually rethought any of that posture. I think you forget that Kamala Harris um, smoked weed in college, Crystal, while she listened to Tupac. Don't you remember that Breakfast mm. Club interview? Wasn't that a fun one? No, I mean, like this is, again, if you wanna talk about violence against women, why don't you talk about what you're doing to prevent women and young girls from being trafficked through Central America to the American border where their parents are sending them with birth control because they just sort of assume the odds of getting raped are so high. Terrific. Yeah, and what the Biden administration's policies are doing actually incentivizes those journeys because again, the root causes are not being addressed and to the extent they are kind of being addressed, it's Kamala Harris sitting there awkwardly giving this Wikipedia lecture. It's ridiculous. Right, so I think the right likes to focus on like what they call like the pull factors, right? The mag Look, a lot of people want to come to America, right? Yeah. It's, it's in certain ways, I have a lot of issues with this country, <laughs> but if you're comparing it to Guatemala, if you're comparing it to a lot of places, you have a chance at a better life. And you're talking about people who are so in such peril and have so little in terms of being able to 
feed their family and make a living and do so in a, in a, in a way that doesn't put their lives at risk, it doesn't matter what the policy of the American president is, whether Joe Biden's a nice guy or that's the other thing I love from the Biden administration. It's like, oh, he's a nice guy. That's what they're coming. That's that nothing to worse, do with it. Actually. But there's never any focus actually on those root causes. So Kamala Harris goes out there. She says some of the root causes, but there's zero acknowledgement of how much of a role America had in driving those root causes. And there's zero plan to help those countries deal with those root causes so that people can stay and not feel like they have to send their kids on these horrific journeys. So to me, given our history, which went on for decades in that country of creating the very instability that people are now fleeing and coming northward to escape, to just completely ignore that and pretend like, oh, this is all on you guys. You guys have really been screwing up down there. It's pretty, it, it's really something. Well, what's embarrassing to me is that she doesn't understand the root causes, nor does she have any ideas, or does the entire administration have any ideas about how to address them seriously, right? And so like she looked completely out of her depth in that entire conversation. And so you can talk about, like that's, sure, you're 50% of the way, you know that you need to know about the root causes. Do you actually know? about like do you actually meaningfully understand them and have a meaningful idea as to how to address them clearly they do not tomorrow on rising we got colin o'hara marshall Koslov, rachel bovard and jennifer holdsworth carp they will be back for team rising plus we've got said jelani talking about why the washington post issued corrections to tim scott's recount of his childhood that was something that tim scott actually referenced in his response last night david sirota is going to be here as well and emily thank you so much again for joining us we love having you thanks for having me love being here remember to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos also don't forget to like and share as well we'll be back soon with more and we'll see you then hope you have a great day have a good one guys